Hi everybody! So we're going to do a subscriber unboxing type of video here um, because uh, a viewer, uh, her name's Shia, so hi Shia if you're watching, hopefully I pronounced your name right. Um, uh, about a week ago she commented to me saying that she put an order in for me uh, to send me two pounds of Barhi dates from Seven Hot Dates since it's date season now, you know, and everybody's just waiting for Seven Hot Dates, the website to open up, so, and then everybody gets those delicious wet pack, you know, dates, good quality dates, but specifically those Barhi dates are so unique. I know they come in a crunchy stage, and then they also come in a wet, wet pack, super wet pack stage, ooey gooey stage, and oh my goodness, they are heavenly. But of course there's seven hot dates, so there's seven different varieties of dates, but she actually put an order in for me and she paid for it. And I'm, I was so thankful. I mean, there's been a couple other subscribers in the past since I've been doing YouTube and sharing this raw vegan lifestyle, you know, with, with you guys and everything. And you guys voluntarily send me fruit and I'm, I'm so thankful. I can't tell you how thankful I am inside. I thank you so much because I know paying for the shipping up here to Alaska is pretty spendy. It gets pretty spendy on some fruits and, and I order a lot of fruits online so I kind of know how much shipping is on certain fruits. Oh my goodness. Here we go guys. Here we go. Oh, a courtesy of Shea Spinazzolo? Is that how you pronounce your last name? I'm so sorry, Shia, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so it looks like they sent me or included in the package, in the package, a Barhi date information page here, which is always good to read up on because there's so many oh my gosh all you guys know all you raw foodies know that there's so many different types of dates out there in the world and different stages of them and everything and so we will read that a little bit later oh my gosh i have never tried this stage before these are the crunchy stage of bar heat dates still on their sticks oh look at that you guys i have only had um barhi dates when they're in their super wet pack i love them in their in the wet packs where they're so ooey gooey soft that it's eye rolling i have never tried the crunchy stage and i've kind of always wanted to so now i get to oh take a look at that you guys oh look looks like some of them were starting to turn in their soft stage oh my gosh this is gonna be heavenly <gasps> Shia, thank you so much from the bottom of my darn heart. Holy moly. <gasps> Let's get to taste test in here, guys. Well, alrighty, guys. I think we need to read this before we do a taste test for the Barhi dates. What they sent me here is, um, okay, it says Barhi is edible in three different stages of development. The traditional tamar, ripe, rutab, rutab which is half and half, and Kahala yellow stage, okay? So the Kala, Kala, la, 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 yellow stage, the flavor can be on the tart side. Pucker your mouth like a persimmon unless picked very close to ripening when it becomes a unique and special sweetness. Most will continue to ripen into the softer stage, uh, a melt-in-your-mouth honey-like sweetness. Yellow barhi dates are a rich source of fiber, iron, potassium, B vitamins, flavonoids, and antioxidants. The half and half is when the date is turning from the yellow stage into the ripe stage, which is what I have in here. Uh, some of them are starting to turn half and half. Um, this process only takes a matter of days. The barhi is a soft variety of date when it is in the ripe stage, although the barhi is extremely sweet. Research suggests that the barhi consists of invert sugar, which makes them safe to eat for diabetics. To ripen fresh barhi dates, the yellow uh, stage, simply place them on your kitchen counter. Do not put them in plastic. They, can, they could produce mold. The ripening process uh, is similar to a banana and avocado. 
Freezing at this stage is not a very good idea because it will stop the ripening process. So apparently these do, that's why I never got these in the first place because I was afraid that they wouldn't, that they don't ripen after they've been picked, you know, like this. So I've never gotten them in, in the crunchy stage like this. Um, but now I know they obviously they can ripen and they are. So you just let them sit on the, excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, you guys, on the countertop and they'll start getting soft. But we're going to taste test a half and half one, a regular yellow one, just so we can see what it tastes like. Okay, okay, let's give these a try here, guys. Let's give them a try. Okay, we're going to do a solid yellow one, okay? Because I have, whenever the bar, bar keys become available from Seven Hot Dates, I always go for the wet packs because, oh my gosh, they are amazing. So, Oh, I know what bar he's. Bar he's are one of my top favorite type of dates. So here goes the yellow one. That is interesting. Most definitely I prefer the wet stage. I prefer the more wet stage right off the bat. It is sweet, it's crunchy, but it is kind of like starchy in a sense. Then that's because they're not fully ripe, obviously. But it is sweet though. But I most definitely prefer the soft, wet stage. I can tell you that right off the bat. So here's the soft one, guys. Oh yeah. So it's kind of half and half, half and half. Mmm. So much better. Mmm. Mm. So thank you so much again, Shia, for sending me, for buying me two pounds of, of Barhi dates, one of my top favorite dates. Thank you so much. Thank you for all of you guys who leave respectful, loving, and kind comments to me. That's all I ask for. Just sharing with you guys. Just want, having so much fun being part of this wonderful raw vegan health community, you know. So, alright guys. So, I'll stop having here. Remember to love being raw. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you. And I'll see you guys next video, okay? Bye guys. You know what? For an Alaskan raw vegan, this is Mata Cool.